हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल सी एस सी कंसेप्ट विद परिंदम सो गाइज एज वी ऑल नो नाव अट इज वट वी आर डूइंग इज वी आर टेकिंग अप द गेट प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन एंड वी आर टेकिंग अप सच क्वेश्चन दैट आर रिपीटेडली बींग आस्ट राइट द पैटर्न दैट आर रिपीटेडली बींग आस्ट वी आर ट्राइंग टू टेक दो क्वेश्चन एंड सॉल्व इट हेयर सो दैट दे हेल्प यू इन योर गेट एग्जाम वी हैव ऑलरेडी सॉल्व मोर देन ट्वेंटी फाइव सच क्वेश्चन इन अवर प्ले लिस्ट वी आर हैविंग प्ले लिस्ट फॉर गेट प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन फाइन सो इन केस यू हैव नॉट विजिटेड दोज क्वेश्चन येट आई वुड रिकमेंड यू आफ्टर दिस वीडियो गो एंड सी दोज क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो एंड प्लीज शेयर दैम विथ योर फ्रेंड्स क्लासमेट्स हु एवर is preparing for gate because this playlist is definitely going to be helpful to each of them fine okay so let's see in today's question what is the question here this is as you can see this is gate 2014 question asked in 2014 and this question is of compiler design subject so let's see what is the question which of the following is true for the below grammar so this is the grammar given to us and four options are given we are asked that which of the four options are correct so let's see whenever these things are asked that which of the following question options are correct so obviously the best thing is to read out the options first so in our case about what the options are given option a they have given that plus is left associative star is right associative second option is saying that plus is right associative and star is left associative third one is saying both plus and star are right associative d is saying both plus and star are left associative okay so that means what what they want us to do is they want us to find out associativity of plus and star in the given grammar i hope you know what the associativity and precedence is in case you don't know still i would like uh, still i would try my best to explain in this video but still if you face any difficulty or if you uh, if you think that you are confused somewhere so what i would uh, like to recommend you is that we have Uh, seen this thing in detail in the compiler design playlist in i have a dedicated video for these things i have explained everything very clearly there so i would recommend you if you want to learn compiler design from the scratch i would recommend you to go to that playlist i will give the link in the i button you can go and learn compiler design there in a very proper way fine so see here what they are given they are asking they have given the grammar and they are asking us to find the associativity of star and plus so it is very simple how to do that so how to do that you have to uh, what i can say you have to first of all find out the grammar see in grammar there are many productions and many things are given but from the options we got to know that our only task is to find out the associativity of plus and star see in exams competitive exams already the time is less so we are not going to focus on anything else we just want to find out the associativity of plus plus and star how to do that so first of all we will figure out that what are the particular productions in this whole grammar that is having plus and star so first of all this s gives t star p so here star is there then t gives t star u here star is there p gives q plus p here plus is there fine so out of all the things given here these are the only three productions fine uh, in the first production we are having s gives t star p in the second production we are having t gives t star u and in the third production we are having p gives q plus p where plus or star is being used fine that means the other productions are of no use for me in this question so what i want to find out is is star or plus left associative or right associative this is very very simple to determine how so first see this one that p gives q plus p so first of all you have to check that whether the grammar is right recursive or left recursive see if your grammar is left recursive then the symbol is whatever symbol or operator is there see if your grammar if your that production is left recursive the operator would be left associative and if it will be right recursive grammar then your operator will be 
right associative so if we talk about p gives q plus p c this is lhs p and where this lhs is present in your uh, production your lhs is present again on the left hand side of the rhs got it you have to determine it like this this is lhs and in the right hand side your lhs is present again on the rightmost side that means what you can say that this grammar is right recursive grammar now as i told as you ha you have determined that this grammar is right recursive grammar so this operator plus will be right associative so plus is right associative that we have confirmed so either b can be true or both this and this are right recursive c can be true fine either b or c now let's determine star and so if we see this one that t t gives t star u t is my lhs and in the right hand side t is present in the leftmost side fine see t gives u is a separate production and t gives t star u is again a separate production fine so in t gives t star u t is my lhs and in t star u t is present in my leftmost side that means i can say that t gives t star u is my left recursive grammar and as it is my left recursive grammar this star is my left associative so my correct option would be plus is right associative and star is left associative got it so in this way whatever options are given to you you can easily determine whether your operators are left associative or right associative i hope you got the uh, example in case you still have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section thank you so much